this whole thing could fall apart at any moment. Maybe, oh, hello. Welcome back to my channel, where we don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it as best we can. Um, we're having a time, okay? So, we gotta do what we can to just like, chill out, relax, keep it cool, keep it light, keep it breezy. Uh, <laughs> you got hair stuck in your lip gloss? It's not lip gloss, it's chapstick. It's got SPF in it, you know? How I do. One of the things I like to do is watch other parents uh, so I can relate to them, you know? And some of my favorites are ones you might have heard of, uh, Kat and Nat. I love the mom truths, you know, just dropping bombs, just, you know, letting people know it's okay. Like, it's not all sunshine and roses and we got you. And like, in my dream reality, you know, the two of them are sitting there in the car and I'm like in the middle, like in the back seat, and I just like pop up with like extra little things to say and like we're all best friends, you know? Like, we make TikToks together, like let's hang out. Like, hi guys, I'm local, let's, let's get it, let's get it popping, you know? I have four kids, they have seven between the two of them, why not make it? How many is that? 11, math, boom, nailed it. So what I'm gonna do today is pretend that I am their third best friend. And I'm just gonna watch their video, tell you what I think, give you a chance to see somebody that I like to watch. This is a mom truth and this is very important, especially when we're heading into months of What's raining when they recorded this? On vacations, as people say, you're so lucky you're going on vacation. It's not a vacation. It's totally Let's not. You this betcha. Whole notion that moms get a vacation when they travel with the family. It's just cooking it's in a new it's location. It's more work. The yeah. Oh god, I hate it. Let me tell you, I don't even like going away for a weekend. You gotta pack stuff. In my case, for six people, you always forget something. And it's never the dad that's to blame. It's never the kids that forgot to pack something. It's me. It's always the mom. Like, it doesn't matter who was responsible for the packing. It's my fault for not foreseeing the unforeseeable and planning for every eventuality. And you always have to prepare the kids before you leave that day to have everything that they need. And you better make sure you pack it and you forget it. Something is forgotten. Mom forgot. Why yes. Yeah, it will always be your fault. Yeah. Always. Oh my gosh. Another stopping point. Literally, anytime we even plan a day out, like let's go to an amusement park or a water park or the beach or the park someone is always upset someone is always disappointed the best laid plans the most money shelled out you think they're gonna have a blast you're like this shit is supposed to be fun for you and they will come at you they will scream they will cry it will be the worst day of their life their soul will be crushed it's a disaster it's like who who is having fun who? You always order a whole bunch of food that no one eats. Yes. Or you don't order enough food because you know you're a terrible mom. And then if you go and visit the grandparents or if there's any family members there, you, you can't. have to teach them how to behave uh, again. Because uh, every time. Now I can't hide from you and I can't hide your bad behavior. Now I have to remind you not to have bad behavior. Otherwise, I look like a terrible mom. It's you know, true. People once a year. So you better not be a dickbag. Everybody's watching. You I swear. You tell them their whole lives. <laughs> He's a saint. He is a saint. <gasps> the horror. That poor dad. Oh my gosh. Vacations aside, 
My husband took my four kids to Costco and got fucking rewarded, congratulated, patted on the back, like medals showered on him. I do this shit every week. Every week. Not every week. Cause like I've given up shit needs to get done. I take those four kids and I do that shit and no one cares. All they tell me is like, Oh, that's your kid taking his pants off in aisle six. And I'm like, yeah. And where's my friggin' medal? I'm out here in the world with all four of them at once. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I'm not. Right? At this point. It's like fun time. Yeah. It's cooking and cleaning in a new place. A new planet. You keep the memories. You make the memories. You create these scenarios. That's it. Oh my gosh, so relatable, 100%. You get to go to a new place and clean and cook there. Not that I do those things, I mean look around. And discipline and parent and provide safety and comfort, like isn't that fun? Don't you wanna go away with these people? It's just a new place to go and have issues. And it's true, you teach them their whole lives how to behave out in public but heaven forbid, once you get out in public, that they actually show that they know and understand the things you've ever taught them. If those asshats are anywhere near a relative, they will make it look like you have raised them in the jungles of the... Uh, where are places that are far away? They will act like you have raised them in a literal field of alley cats or something. Well, dude, alley cats don't live in the field. Okay, there is a look at some of the moms that inspire me. Let's get me and them connected. Me, cat, and nah. I don't know how we can make that work, like name-wise. I'm local. Okay, I think I said that already. All right, that's fine. So anyways, this has been Jossie Potts, and I love you all.